what can we do right now like what's the minimum step we can take right now to enhance the educational output for students i think you have to recognize where the student is what is their purpose mm. what is their interest so one of the things that we've done on our system is that we try to teach you know help each teach we like a 24/7 tutor for these children mm. so that their it's a companion you can ask it any question when you're stuck or uh, it'll keep and then if you converse with it it'll keep uh, a track of what your you conversation learned. is oh, okay right mm-hmm. what you've learned what you don't know where we can help it so it's a combined it's a very complex system which we built for 16 years starting with the content starting with the grades standards etc language different levels of language mm-hmm. because our system just is dependent on one textbook mm. you all have to learn from this textbook mm. you all have to answers that we need to ask everyone in the classroom that they should be able to answer yeah right, right. not taking into account what they know from before or not right that's all irrelevant remove if, that if we can say at every given point we can help every child and we know where they're you know kind of going wrong so each teacher if you think about a teacher can only know certain level of where the student is right 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 whether they know it from the exams tests or conversations with them but they don't have the time mm. to really interact with the student our brains can only skim what happens you in know in that cross section of time yeah, yeah right it's it's very difficult for us to kind of take into account um the it's like you know the knowledge knowledge is consistent consisting of lots of nodes mm-hmm. and lots of idea things that are input into that node right. so like a concept you can learn a concept very many ways you can learn a concept in physics by doing physics you can learn that same concept by doing math but it's very hard to bring them together right. very often a teacher says child is not doing well in physics theek hai isko or physics do but the problem isn't going to be solved because it's not the physics that's the problem it's the math mm So unless you combine all these together and l- let the children really have an idea how to you know deal with those things um it's very hard to make help every child and mm. this is what machines can do really well guys if you're interested in more content like this where it actually makes you think and explore how you think inside your head dude subscribe man